Mr. Chairman, in summary, we are taking decisive action to reduce land transport emissions by 80% by uh, around mid-century. We will make every HDB town EV ready by 2025. We will support EV adoption with adjustments to our COE category A MPO threshold, upgraded electrical infrastructure, and a robust regulatory framework for EV charging. And we will ensure half our public buses and taxi fleets are electric by 2030. But beyond these efforts, the success of this green endeavor ultimately rests with each one of us and the commuting decisions we make every day. Based on LTA's estimates, compared to driving an internal combustion engine car, switching to an electric car halves our carbon footprint. Taking an electric bus reduces our carbon footprint by 70%. Taking the MRT reduces our carbon footprint by close to 90%. And if we walk or cycle, the carbon footprint is practically zero. So we can make a difference with our choices. At the MOT COS debate, we will share more about plans to make all these options more accessible by expanding the rail network, repurposing our roads, and building more cycling paths. Our informed individual choices will have an indelible and enduring impact on our carbon footprint, our environment, and our future. Together, we can make the vision of the Singapore Green Plan a reality.